Hey there. Well, I've been using Alfred version 1 for quite some time now, and I've just got version 2. In fact, I didn't realise that I hadn't got version 2. I thought I'd upgraded it at some point in time, but I haven't, because I got it through the uh, Mac App Store. And now what I've done is I've downloaded it direct from the site, and you have to do that if you want to get your hands on the Power Pack. Now, I've got my hands on the Power Pack, and well, at the moment, I don't have time to really get into it and dive into it. I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with those... Uh, uh, things where you create the workflows. I don't think it's going to be a um, good replacement for Keyboard Maestro, which I have, which looks pretty good and is very functional. But I think it could be quite useful for one or two odd wee things here and there. Because I, I use Alpha an awful lot. If you're using the um, commands to get in there, such I use, uh, what is it, uh, command uh, spacebar to get into my Alfred, and then I can do a whole pile of searches. Sometimes I think I've only just kind of scratched the surface with Alfred, but now I've got this power pack, I'm going to really dive in there and see what I can do with it. So let's see what I can come up with. And when I've got something good to show you, I shall make a tutorial on how to create some workflows. Bye-bye now.